And a tweet, in fact, has now been put out by ISRO, who gone on to say that there is another milestone by Chandrayaan 3's Pragyan rover. They've gone on to update us that the rover, in fact, has traversed over 100 meters on the moon. So that's the update that has, of course, been given as far as ISRO is concerned. We've gone on to say that the Pragyan rover has trans transversed, as I pointed out, as much as 100 meters on the surface of the moon. Let's also now bring in our colleague Harish Upadhyay, who's been tracking these developments for us. Harish, any other updates that have been given to us by ISRO? Well, it's just stating that uh, this has uh, covered an area of around 100 meters or traveled an area of 100 meters. Uh, but remember, the range itself uh, for this rover is around 500 meters from the uh, lander, after which the communication breaks down. So it is going around the rover in that radius, uh, finding out more. Remember, only a few more days left uh, before the solar uh, night sets in and uh, the rover loses out on energy. Uh, we will have to see if uh, ISRO will be able to kickstart the uh, uh, onboard uh, operate uh, onboard systems again once the solar day begins, lunar day begins, beg your pardon. That's something that we'll have to see. But most of the experiments have already started. A lot of data has already come back to ISRO. Uh, so it will be interesting to see uh, what ISRO attempts to do in the next few days uh, in the very little time it has. And also we have to point out here that in the last few hours, ISRO will also have to station this rover in such a way that uh, its solar panels are once again facing towards the sun so that as soon as a new, uh, okay. uh, new lunar day begins, uh, it will gain energy. Okay, Harish, we'll have to leave that conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details.